Hello, my name is Bill and welcome to Mind Your Crypto, a channel that is giving new targets for every altcoin every day. Before we continue, do not forget to join our monthly subscription, link in the description box and in the comment section, Patreon slash Mind Your Crypto. You will find it there and you will get easy profits with 200 altcoins. You will be able to trade them and you will be able to buy and sell them and to know exactly when to buy and exactly when to sell them. You will also get personal guidance every day, manual system with over 90% win ratio, educational videos to become expert in the technical analysis and hold your future in your hands, market updates, random giveaways, pine scripts for, for trading view, and many, many other benefits. Thank you for watching. Have a fantastic day wherever you are. Let's see a little bit the risk metrics for power. So from yesterday that we made the update, you can check it out. We have a very high RSI still. Now we are correcting down. You can see the stochastic RSA is going down as well. We still have room to correct. Okay, Fisher transform very close between the blue line and our signal line. All right, so everything is going to... I think that we are going to have a little bit of a lower low, lower high pattern. I will check all the support levels and I will tell you do not worry about that. But for now, we are seeing the risk metrics. OK, as for the um, let's see a little bit, actually, the Bollinger Bands on the Bollinger Bands. We were riding the top line. OK, in an impulsive wave mode, this is what happens. We are just riding the top line. So the Bollinger Bands have no use in there. But on normal markets, when we approach the top line of the Bollinger Bands, we correct. And when we approach the bottom, we go upwards. And when we have the squeeze point, the lower uh, line goes straight forward, upwards and the top line downwards. So they become they come actually close to each other. Then we expect a very, very huge pump up or a very, very huge correction. OK, it can go both ways. So we are going to close the Bollinger Bands. You can see with the four hour frame, we can correct even more. On the daily frame, we had the RSI above the 70. So it is very, very normal for us to correct as well. OK, so let's see a little bit. Uh, but I want to show you something, actually. The stochastic RSI that it is not yet in an overbought situation. Although it is going there, it has some room to grow. OK, but anyway, we will be talking about that. Let's go to power against Bitcoin chart on power against Bitcoin chart. We have also the same situation with the risk metrics. I won't go into every risk metric again. You are just seeing that we have an overbought situation yet, so we can correct even more. What we can do, though, is to draw a fib retracement from the top, from the bottom, sorry, to the top. And you can see some important support levels. For example, we are for sure going to the 0 0.401451 and we might be going even to this area of support level. OK, this and of course, between the two, the Fibonacci retracement level and the support level I just made. OK, so we can float around this area. In this area, we might be having a buying pressure or a little bit further down into the 20 day MA. We will see about that. But anyway, into this whole area right here, we might be having a buying pressure again. This means that the price might go a little bit upwards power against Bitcoin will outperform Bitcoin as well. And of course, we might be going into higher targets again. But afterwards, we might be getting again a consolidation, the correction. All right. So therefore, you should be very, very careful because we might start the lower low, lower high pattern. And I want you to be careful on that. Let's go to power against USD. On power against USD, you can see that we had some targets there. And I told you that if we close above the 0 0.72, we will go up to the 0 0.83. We did that. However, then we found huge sell pressure. Now we cannot get even, even higher. You can see that, right? And of course, what we have right now is that we are probably going to go down to the 0 0.65 but I will draw a new Fibonacci retracement because when you draw the Fibonacci retracement, you go from the bottom to the top. All right. So therefore, we have the 0.67 as a support level, a very, very strong support level right there. And of course, we have the 0.5 in which we might be going. All right. So we might correct a little bit further more. On the 4-hour frame, as we talked about, we had the high risk, 
with every risk metric you can see that on the first chapter and of course we expect the price to go down and from the 0.62 maybe to bounce between these targets right there okay and then go down or a little bit further downwards we will see about that we might be stopping uh, I think that this whole area right here is a very strong support area let's let me draw the uh, support line okay here we go so this whole area right there and the rectangle okay so we are going here from here okay so the 0 0.62 to the 0 0.60 is a very strong support level area in this area i think that we are probably going to find a little bit of a buying pressure go probably back to the 0 0.67 or the 0 0.66 and from there correct again this is usually what is happening with these altcoins however i wanted to show you something on the daily frame yes we are going down but we have more room to grow with the stochastic side. this is very very good i know that we have a very high risk however sometimes we are seeing patterns like that for example we go a little bit down and then we pump up okay so I'm going to give the next targets as well. Do not worry about that. And I'm going to show you when you should buy. But before we go there, just check the, uh, the Fisher Transform as well. You can see that we have, we had actually a neutral position. We had a bullish cross right now and we are not bearish. We can grow even more with the Fisher Transform and the Stochastic RSI. Momo Channel Index and the RSI had a very, very huge risk. Okay. So we are looking first at the 0 0.67 and you will ask me, Bill, uh, when is it the right time to get in when we close above this line right here? If we close above this line right here, okay, the 0 0.76 now on the 4 hour frame again, then we can go even maybe to the 0 0.95 cents. All right. So therefore to approach the previous or a high we had for power okay so right there you can see that we might be getting there but for the time being we will go to the 0 0.67 for me we will probably correct even more seeing the four hour frame seeing the risk we have on the four hour frame i think we are going to correct even even more and then we might be having a pump up we will see about that but do not buy if we close above this line right here then you can buy for the time being i do not allow you to buy no i'm just kidding but you know uh you can do whatever you want i it is just my uh humble opinion okay uh this is just not a financial advice of course it's for educational purposes but i'm just telling you what i'm seeing in the charts and not what you want to see and not what you want to hear okay we are doing a non-biased technical analysis and of course before we close the video do not forget to join our monthly subscription patreon slash mind your crypto is the link you will find in the comment section and in the description box. Thank you. See you soon with many, many more videos. Bye.